Let's take a look at how to modify a USB power adapter made for hard batteries, which is a private label for Walmart, and make it work for DeWalt batteries. And here is the final version. The fit is pretty snug. Uh, the extra wires that you see here are connected directly to the battery. It's just in case if I need to provide 20 volts for some other tools. The battery status lights essentially work as voltmeter. For very low voltages, you see one light blinking, and as the voltage increases, you get one, two, three, or four lights steadily lit on this battery status indicator. I started by expanding the grooves on the side. I used Dremel for this. You can see how much I had to remove. It's uh, pretty easy to, to see once uh, the pieces are disassembled, each half can be dremeled separately. I made battery connector out of a piece of plywood. And for contacts themselves, I used a half inch copper pipe. I desoldered the black connector. I also made sure that my new connector fits inside the shell pretty well. If you don't need external power, you don't need to use such thick wires. But since I'm modifying it, I might as well. I used thinner wires to connect the battery to the USB board. I should have bent the wires before adding epoxy to the contacts, but it still works. I added some plastic to cover the opening where the contacts are, and ready to test how everything works. So I have it connected, uh, the light is off, that means the power is not going here, but as I connect the load, we'll see the power actually turns on. Alright, so the power turns on, the uh, output here is 5 volts, 5.16, so I have a bunch of resistors with switches mounted here, so as I turn them on, uh, this will uh, load at uh, 10 ohms, about half an amp, here's another half an amp, 1 amp, another 10 ohm, one and a half, another 10 ohms, so I'm actually drawing two amps here. We can see the voltage drop to 498 volts. And these uh, 20 ohm resistors, that's about giving me two and a half amps. So I'm about drawing two and a half amps from one port. I have a resistor, which is two ohms. When connected, it will draw about two and a half amps. I'm getting almost five volts here and almost five volts on this side as well. So now let's connect the load and see what happens. So I'm drawing two amps on this side and about to draw two and a half amps here. So I'm connecting. So the voltage, there is a drop here. It's about 4.9 volts uh, on both sides. So I'm actually drawing uh, five amps at five volts from this little device. Um, see if it can sustain, but it looks, uh, looks pretty good. So I can disconnect. So the voltage uh, jumps on this side a little bit higher. This one remains the same. So I connect the load again. So the voltage dropped again as well. This seems to be like a quality converter with uh, two independent circuits supplying two plugs that can sustain over two amps each. So it's pretty impressive. Uh, not a bad thing for, uh, I think I got it for under $10. So. It can work for DeWalt batteries and um, uh, modification is not that complicated.